And today, we're going to talk about how you can discover game-changing processes to find peace amidst the chaos and get clarity with the presence. Okay, so getting having peace amidst all of this stuff that's happening is so crucial, right? Because it, it's going to help you with your productivity, producti productivity at work. It's going to help you with your relationships with the people that you see every single day in, at home, right? And also getting clarity is important of where you are right now and how you can move ahead and move on. So what else do you get if you stay till the end, okay? So you get this little tiny growth book that I have to share with you more about what we're going to talk about, right? And I'll show, show, share with you how you can get it for free, all right? I'm still like a few days away from publishing it, so you get it for free by the end of the week, okay? And I don't want to just treat this like a transaction. I can't do a talk and then see you later and then leave you hanging, okay? So at any time, you can reach out to me at cjfitcoach at gmail.com and I will just share with you, speak to you, and just, just to help you overcome any difficulties that you have. Right, so if you are ready, uh, I believe you can comment yes. Okay, comment yes if you're ready. One more yes. And we will start with step number one. Okay, okay guys. Now, this is the game-changing thing that's been really a, a big, big, big pillar in my life, okay? Whatever happens, I always go back to what am I focusing on, all right? It's, it's, not, it's nothing to do with whatever external things that's happening, okay? Quite often, we have this illusion that, hey, it's, um, you know, is this crisis, is the, you know, is the bus, or, you know, is the economy, is this. But the thing is, there are so many things we cannot control of. But one thing you can get control of is the focus that you place on things, okay? So where your focus goes, that's where your energy flows. So pause there for a second. I want you to just rethink for the last 24 hours, okay? We wouldn't talk about for the last one month, but the last 24 hours, how much time have you spent on focusing on what can be better? What's next? How you can feel better? What you can do to make yourself feel better? How much focus has been going into that side of thing, okay? Or how much focus have you been placing on stress? How come I'm so stressed? How come I'm so tired, right? People that talk about, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Of course, you will get tiredness in your life. I'm so upset, I'm so upset, I'm so stressed. Then you get more of it. So where your focus goes, energy flows. Energy is one thing that is finite. It's not infinite. We don't have infinite amount of energy. You have to know this, okay? You can take note. Energy is finite, okay? That means it's, there's a limited amount in one day. It's not like it just keeps coming, right? And then you can be at a, at a peak all day long, right? So if you only had this amount of energy, okay, not unlimited, what would you spend it on, okay? And when, where energy flows, things expand, all right? Subconsciously, we will be focusing on things that are either good or bad, and either way, it's going to expand. Okay, let me just give you one example, okay? So a few years ago, <laughs> when I was really, really down at one point, and you know, all I could think of is just really the bad stuff. Why did life happen to me? And then of course, I attracted more stuff that I didn't want, okay? Because my focus was me being a victim, okay? And then, but you know, it wasn't pleasant at all, right? Being a victim, it, it was the worst thing to be, worst thing to do for yourself in any situation, okay? So I quickly flipped the switch and be like, wait a moment, where is the focus right now? You spend 90% of the time playing victim, saying I wasn't good enough, saying, um, you know, something external was affecting my life. But why couldn't you do something to have that little two degree shift and then slowly but surely, your energy will start flowing some other way, okay? So your focus is everything. Keep assessing your focus every single day, once or twice a day. Pause for a second. If you're in the middle of your work, you have a lot of meetings, calls, and all that stuff, emails, okay? Sometimes 
it can be really full on to the point that your mind just want to do whatever, right? So you want to stop and just think about, look, has my focus been on the abundance instead of the opposite, which is scarcity. Scarcity is the lack of, okay? Abundance is having enough, having more than enough, and there's always more. Now, these two distinction is, is something that you can always go back to, okay? In any situation, whenever you feel stress, most likely you're in this scarcity mindset, okay? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm good enough. I'm not sure if I have time. I'm not sure if I do a good job. I'm not sure if I'll get appraisal. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, scarcity, okay? Switch it to become being more abundant. Okay, get in more abundance. That's when magical things happen. That's when whatever you want in your career can actually happen. That's when you have a lot more energy to say to your colleagues and be like, hey, look, that's fine. Let me take on this project. Let me take responsibility for this. Because the thing is, right, when you are coming from here, you will get that extra surge of energy. Because whenever you tell yourself, I have enough, I have more than enough, then you're gonna get enough and more than enough, okay? If you say, I don't have enough, I just wanna keep it to myself, I just wanna work in silo, then you just shrink, okay? Your energy will expand or shrink, so you have a choice. Right, step two is self-awareness. This is something that has been going on for, it's been made, it's been made to become more popular for the last three to five years, okay? Now that human or, or human races, we are up far, far away from the war time, Right, we have a lot more time to just do self-reflection, having self-awareness, right? Take our spiritual, emotional, mental well-being to the next level, right? There's not much we have to stress about, not like back then, poverty, wars, and all that stuff. So self-awareness has been something that that has been talked about a lot amongst the corporate wellness and also amongst individual health. So what is self-awareness? Okay, and I, I know a lot of you could probably feel like, what is this big word? And they've well, basically, it's got so many different meanings. If you look up on Google, okay? So this is kind of like an, the easiest way to describe it, okay? There's so many meanings on Google that make me go, what do you mean? Like, it, you didn't really have any good explanation for, for my viewers to, to understand. So basically, by having a clear perception of your personality, including strength, weaknesses, thoughts, beliefs, motivation, and emotions, just to sum it up in last words than this, okay? It's having your ability to just step out of yourself, okay? So imagine you are, your name was John, right? John will step out and then see John from outside, from a third person view, okay? Now, the, the powerful thing is this. With self-awareness, okay, when you do it so often, it, it gets easier. Just like lifting a dumbbell with a bicep curl. It was hard in the beginning, okay? so. For the, the fact that we can zoom out to look, for, look at us from a third person point of view and not being so self-absorbed, that's amazing. Now, this is one thing that you can, you can say to yourself, okay? Whenever, okay, self-awareness is actually crucial, very crucial when you are having stress, anger, any kind of negative emotion. That's where people pay a lot more attention to self-awareness, okay? Other than that, when life is good, Things are amazing. Self-awareness is like the last thing we care about. Okay, so self-awareness during stressful time, during um, hurtful anger moments, okay? So what you can do is this, okay? You know how you, you feel that anger, okay? Frustration? You can say to yourself like, usually, okay, this is usually what people say. Usually they say, I'm so angry. I'm so frustrated. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. They walk around, but I'm so stressed. I'm so angry, okay? Now, how about if you just change a few words or how about if you change the way you say it by saying, I am experiencing anger. Because if you said, I am so stressed, the fact that you have I am, that means that's your identity for the next few hours, for the next few days, for the next few weeks. Some people have been stressed for weeks and months, okay? So by shifting it to go, whoa, 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 okay, I'm not stressed, I'm not angry, I'm not hurtful, but I am experiencing hurt. I'm experiencing stress. I'm experiencing the feeling of stress. I'm experiencing the physical sensation of stress. Whew, getting a little tight here. Let me just do some power breathing perhaps. 
I'm experiencing the language of stress. Means when you are stressed, you turn, you tend to use languages that are very stressed out. Okay, like I hate, I don't want. Okay, so you can ask yourself these questions. I'm experiencing the emotion of stress. I am is experiencing the physical sensation of stress. Oh, so much cortisol level. Okay, do go do some exercise or go go do some power breathing to get your endorphin level up. I'm experiencing the language of stress. So what can I do instead? All right. So, step number three. <laughs> wow, this is something that I know a lot of you haven't heard of because it's not so common right now in Asia because this is actually something that came from Hawaii, okay? It's an ancient Hawaii, Hawaiian ritual. So basically, Ho'oponopono was made popular by this guy, so he, he, was, he was told to go help out a, a mental, mental illness ward or a prison, okay? Where criminals were like really, really like those crazy criminals that kill people and all that stuff. But then the thing is, okay, the thing is, this guy managed to help these criminals to, to become better, right, mentally, to get rid of their past and to become a new person without even have to see them in person. So this method works really well. And in US especially, right, this has been a big thing. You can actually get certified in it, but you don't have to go there. Let me just share with you how simple it is, okay? This is powerful, guys. And if I feel a bit weird, okay, let me just show you what, what I mean by that, okay? Next slide, okay. Now, have a read through it. In any circumstance, no matter how much you feel like this person was a jerk, right? This person was, was accusing you, this person was just at fault, the government or whatever out there has the problem. But the thing is this, if you keep thinking problems are out there, you will never get peace. Remember what this topic is all about, calm within storm. It's not about, hey, look, doing more workouts. Some, some of the fittest people are actually not the fittest mentally and emotionally. I want you to know that, okay? Fit physically doesn't mean that you will be feeling fit inside, right? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So whenever you are faced with any, any, any circumstances where you just feel like, look, it's unfair, right? It's, it's not cool that he or she said that to me. How could she say that? How could he do that to me, right? So this is what you do, okay? You say, I'm sorry, I love you. Please forgive me and thank you. There is a belief that we are all responsible for any kind of response that we get from external. As much as we think it's other people's fault, but sometimes it can be our part that because we have put ourselves in that situation, we had said that one thing, which triggered the whole thing, okay? Or the fact that it was a build up from 10 years ago during your relationship or friendship. Okay, now I want you guys to just really just clear um, whatever you're doing, put your phone down if you're on your phone, okay? You just need audio for this. Let, I, I wanna take you through this process. It's really, really, really powerful, okay? Now, I wanna make this a very practical session as well because if I was to wait for you to do it later on, right? Life gets busy, right? So let's do this together, okay? So put yourself down. I want you to just sit up right, okay? Take a few deep breaths, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, and breathe into your tummy. Breathe into your belly button, okay? Do it that way, okay? Take a few deep breaths. Okay, now what you're gonna do with your eyes closed still and deep breath, you're gonna bring to mind someone or something, incident, to which you feel a clash or misalignment towards, right? Think of the last time you had something unresolved. It could be this whole crisis. It could be a person and 
feel that emotion, bring it back up one last time. One last time, we have to get, 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 uh, get resolved, okay? Now visualize this person or experience viscerally, like really just be there, see it, feel it, right? How did you feel? How did that make you feel? How was your breathing during that time when you first heard it or when you encountered that incident? How did you feel when you first heard about it? How did you feel when you experienced this whole situation? Make it so real that you can almost feel, smell, touch the person, the environment, the objects. See it clearly. You have to do it with your eye closed, okay? So see it clearly. Make it so like it was happening again kind of feeling, okay? Okay, now, look at this person, look at this object, or the, look at this situation, the news, or the phone. And I want you to start feeling an infinite source of love flowing through you. It can be through the center of your heart, your chest, from the top to the bottom, from the crown of the head to the bottom. Now, if you find it hard, just imagine what it was like when you were at your happiest, okay? And still breathe. Just keep breathing deeply and slowly. Feel the abundance of love and joy while you're facing this incident or this person. Because remember, abundance is everything in life. So right at this very moment, I want you to say these four phrases. It doesn't matter which order you say it in, okay? I want you to look at this person or this object, this incident. Say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Say it like you mean it. Say it because you have this unconditional love within you that you were born with but somehow life got in the way and it became conditional meaning you have to give me so i can give you right but right now at this very moment it's all coming from this unconditional source of love and energy and say i love you over and over again i'm sorry please forgive me thank you Keep saying a few more times because your mind could be resisting it, going, are you crazy? You're saying, I love you to this person. All right, just keep going. I'll give you another 15 seconds to just take time. Don't rush this whole process. Take your time and breathe. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. It's because incidents like these that make us a better person, isn't it? It's because the bad or the, the unpleasant experiences that help us to become stronger. And therefore, we wanna say, thank you. It's all about loving regardless of conditions. That's when you can conquer. That's when you can rise up in any any situation. Right. And you can take one last deep breath before you open your eyes. All right, cool. Well, this is something that you can do at any time. Okay, if you felt like it was too short just now, you can do it later on. Or if you are in any situation where you are right in the middle of confrontation or this you know, meeting with tension, you just feel like you wanna just get to someone, just breathe and just say inside. You don't have to say it to them loudly, okay? They'll be like, whoa, whoa, what the hell's going on? Right, just say yes, you know, inside. I'm sorry, I love you. Don't rush it, just feel it, say it and feel it, okay? Right. So. 
we want to we want to do some Q&A right now okay because this session is about you it's not about uh, theories and what I teach is about you and I want to make sure that whatever question you have please ask and the thing is don't be afraid to ask questions because the question you have can be quite universal meaning other people might have it as well okay ooh self centered okay so basically self awareness is like just now we we had the ability to almost feel like we were a different person by shifting our perspective okay or our language to go from hey look i am stressed to be like well you are not stressed you are not stressed your name is not stressed and your emotion is not stressed your identity is not stressed you are just feeling the experience and the physical sensation of stress okay so and also another another thing with self awareness is the language that you use okay just like you know how we we just go through life like do the work go to shower sleep eat, eat work out right we hardly have time to just pull the break and be like whoa shit okay sorry my so sorry, sorry my language right and just be like okay things do not happen to me it happens for me what if this crisis happens for me what if this crisis was here for a reason for me to just realize something before it's too late okay like a few years ago i my grandma passed away right really quickly so you know that like, it was crazy okay that was really sad because i didn't really spend time with her i was overseas all the time and then you know how how it was tough right but then what happened is this i decided to say this one sentence right which you can write down and it will be a game changer okay i forced myself to say this it's good that it happened because what you must be thinking what what do you mean like it's it's good that your grandma died no no i didn't mean that way i mean it's good that it happened because then i realized why i should spend more time with family why i should prioritize before having to wait for another death in the family so that's one reason why i moved back to malaysia that's one reason why i wanted to start a business right because i want to make sure that i have the ability to provide more for my family right and i for my belief starting business was the way to do it right so um you know in any situation right you just have the ability to be like okay it's good that it happened it's good that say my dog died because i just realized you know how much an how much animal can do for us as human being and therefore maybe perhaps you start a dog shelter an ngo to help more dogs out there right to be healthier right to be adopted so try to turn every situation right by having self awareness turn it into a good experience okay any other questions we have here uh, self centered is almost like is very self absorbed this is how I, how i put it right being self centered self absorbed might not always be the best thing to do you want to be able to go zoom in zoom out step out step in all right when you're in the middle of hustle step out a little bit be like whoa what what are you doing here are you being productive are you are you busy being busy are you majoring in the minor things right a lot of people do that they major in the minor right are you doing things that move the needle so having a lot of this conversation with yourself being real with yourself right as if there's another john or there's another cj be like hey look you know you're not doing yourself a favor by working this way all right so any other question right here yeah you don't want to be ex excessively concerned with yourself all right you want to step out okay so basically i have this uh free copy of 10x live growth book which i'm gonna share in depth of whatever i've just shared and we are jason do you guys have any questions or i would love questions some of you might feel like i want to get going with your um the hoponopono so you can do it again later on okay and if you're in a relationship marriage this is like the best time to do it okay 
And if you can be open about it with someone that you love, in any situation when there's arguments, right, misalignments, you can just come together and say, look, I love you. I'm sorry, I'm, I was part of it too. And please forgive me and thank you. Yes, you can do Ho'oponopono over and over again. But I wanna, um, you can do it like, spend five minutes doing that. You can even imagine yourself just hugging this, hugging this person and breathe together, okay? Right, and once you have resolved it, don't bring it back. Because otherwise it's almost like it's unresolved. Like you bring it back again and again and again and again, all right? Because every time you do Ho'oponopono, you wanna go deep into that feeling of like, at first, anger or hurt, right? You don't want to keep bringing up those feelings from the same person, from the same incident, okay? I would rather you spend a good 10 minutes if you need to, to just get it done with. If we're stressed, okay, the question here is, if we are in a stressful situation meeting, how to practice it? All right, so, so it's, it's a few things put together, right? So what you want to look at is, okay, your focus, step one. Are you focusing on the worst outcome in a meeting? Or are you focusing on win, win, win? Okay, if like win, win, win means you as an employee or employer wins, your employer or your staff wins, and then the customers, clients, or stakeholders win, okay? All right, what is your focus? Are you focusing on win, win, win? Or you're focusing on win yourself, all right? So then self-awareness, okay, if it's a very tense and stressful situation, Step out, look at yourself, uh, Chin Chin Yang, right? And be like, what are you experiencing right now? Anger, okay, how does anger feel like physically? Tense, what do you need to do to get rid of tension? Shake it off, do jumping jacks, do star jumps. Or wait, you're in the meeting, you can't do that. So maybe you can just start to be aware of these shoulders. Sometimes we're like this, right, typing. And then you just drop. Chest out. There has been a research that say that if you're in a stressful situation, by standing up, right? Or if you're in a meeting, you can stand up. By having this power pose, meaning you are having your chest out and standing up like a Wonder Woman, okay? Or just simply by sitting upright, breathe, your stress level or stress hormone goes down immediately and your testosterone, the happy and good hormone, goes up, just like that. By having that little change biochemistry in your body, your mind automatically goes, oh shit, I mean, oh, your body is telling me to not stress. You already have a lot of testosterone, you have less cortisol, should we now be stressed? At least you have a choice. The thing is, most people are stuck in it, right? Or choose not to let go, because they don't have a choice to be like, should we stress now? Should we not stress? Can we not stress now, right? So by, by having this physical, um, like physicality of power pose or upright posture, and breathe deep, 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 deeply, your body, your mind will start to feel like, hey, look, there's some change here. We don't have to be stressed, do we? Okay. And then, of course, step number three, okay, just say it in your heart. With the global storm happening in the world now, what is your advice for us to stay calm while being on the lockdown? Okay. So I would say I wouldn't introduce anything new. Okay. I would just refresh you guys of what we've talked about and then make it more real for you okay so being calm okay being being stressed being calm any kind of emotion stress love hurt anger fear okay it comes down to three things okay first one is your focus okay right the second is the language that you use the word that you use okay and the third is your physical sensation if you put it that way it's like a triangle of hey assessing your focus, all right, is your focus, are you worrying about, are you having this anxious feeling of what's going to happen is going to be very nasty, okay? Anxiety is, is basically the fear of future. Depression or being sad is because of the past. So you have to first identify, okay, which one are you? Are you sad or depressed or hurt, right? And then you look into your past and do hoponopono to see if you can let go, okay? If you have anxiety, which is the future that you're fearful of, then you can ask yourself, 
what your focus is on right now. Okay, so a few things you can do to help you make this whole thing easier is to hang out, surround yourself with people that are like-minded, people that are positive, people that give you good energy, all right? Because let me tell you this, you can have all the willpower, but then if your environment do not support it, your willpower will wane off and you'll just end up being one of them, okay? So think about this. Environment is stronger than willpower. I don't have willpower all the time, but because my environment is a group of people that are supportive, that are always one step ahead of me. And, you know, so that's, that's why I'm so inspired to just keep going every single day. All right, good question, Nikki. And to stay calm, okay, what, I'm trying to think of like anything else that I can elaborate on. Okay, things happen for us. What if things happen for us? What if, like I said before, my, my, my loved one passed away? What if it happened for me? And then I start to think like, oh gosh, I really, really want to make a change. And I don't want to wait for another incident like this and be, great, uh, be regretting it, okay? So I'm not sure if you believe in this, but sometimes people say, you know, a crisis is almost like something that prepares for prepares us for a bigger one. I don't know. But hey, look, let's just weather through this storm, okay? And basically sharpen up your mind and your body. You definitely still have to work out, okay? There's no point to hop on up on all day and not working out. That's all for today. Any more questions?